Imagine this. You're at an important gathering. Maybe it's a wedding and the couple is in the middle of their beautiful vows. And then you feel it. Your face starts to tingle. Your eyes begin to water and it takes every ounce of your strength to stop yourself from sneezing and ruining such an important moment. But at what cost? What happens when you stop a sneeze? How damaging can it be? And where does a sneeze go when you suppress it? Sneezes are powerful. Your sneeze can blow stuff out at speeds of up to 100 miles per hour. And it has the power to eject debris up to 30 feet. When you stop a sneeze, all that pressure inside has to go somewhere else in the body, which could cause some unexpected damages. As gross as it is, sneezing is good for you. It's kind of a protective reflex to clear irritants from your nose. As you breathe in, the sensors in your nose detect any foreign particles that may enter your nose. These sensors then send an electric signal to your brain that an intruder is present. Your brain signals your body to get ready for an impending sneeze. This is where all of those familiar pre-sneeze signs start to come about. Your diaphragm contracts, your lungs fill with air, your throat muscles relax, your mouth opens, your eyes close, and you sneeze. So, we know why they happen, but why is it a bad idea to prevent a sneeze? For starters, the force can rupture your eardrum or pop a blood vessel in your eye, damaging your hearing or your vision. Pinching your nose and closing your mouth to hold in a full force sneeze is a dangerous maneuver. The pressure buildup in your chest can cause a rib fracture or vocal cord damage. In one incident, a 34-year-old healthy man ruptured the back of his throat and left air bubbles in the soft tissue of his neck and chest while trying to stop a sneeze. The force of holding a sneeze in tore his pharynx, which is the passageway that connects the mouth and nasal cavity to the esophagus. The air bubbles trapped beneath his skin made a crackling sound. Medical imaging showed that air was leaking from his windpipe into his neck from the tear. The pressure caused by holding in a sneeze can potentially lead to the rupturing of a brain aneurysm, which is a ballooning blood vessel in the brain. This can lead to bleeding in the skull around the brain. Ruptured brain aneurysms are fatal in about 40% of cases. When you hold in a sneeze, you may feel pain in your chest. This is due to extra pressurized air in your chest. If this air gets trapped in your diaphragm, your lungs can collapse under the pressure. This is a life-threatening injury requiring immediate hospitalization. A sneeze is essentially a control-alt-delete for your nose sensor system. Your nose requires a reboot when overwhelmed, and this biological reboot is triggered by the forceful ejection of a sneeze. When a sneeze works properly, it resets the environment within nasal passages so bad particles breathed in through the nose can be trapped. While it's incredibly rare to suffer from these harmful effects of holding in a sneeze, the best way to avoid these injuries is to simply let that sneeze out. Just try to be tidy about it.